Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 near Lano, Texas. On a, well, it's not a cold morning. It's cool. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Lano, Texas? The temperature in Lano right now is 63 degrees. Will the high of 85 be the same way tomorrow? But anyway, uh, I'm still in my, still alive in my 2019 Casita travel trailer, soon to be a Class C RV with a little more space. Been full-time RVing for a long time. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow. It is right now, and that's the hardest place to live is now. <clears throat> we always want to live in one of those other places, and it's that's the way life is. But be that, be that as it may, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 34 degrees. With a high of 60. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The temperature in Butte right now is 43 degrees. With a high of 49 and a low of 34. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? In Fairbanks, it's currently 18 degrees. With a high of 26, then a low of 17. So old man winter is there. This is all my buddies back here. You know most of them, some bananas. Uh, that's a pillowcase somebody made for me. Thank you. And those are olive oil's bras, and that is a smiling face. And that sign says life is better than a casita. And pretty soon it'll be better, hopefully, in RB. As good in a Class C motorhome. We'll see. But anyway, today at lunch, I'll do a driving video, and a lot of y'all watched my old home base video and left comments. I mean, a lot. <laughs> I was surprised. But anyway, my hair, when I wash it, I get I get the horns up here. The They just stick, the, the gray hair just sticks straight up, and you can't bend it. You can wet it. It, don't bend. it just sticks up, but that's the way it is. Anyway, this person's name is Just Keep On Moving, and this is on the cargo trailer made for camping. He says, thanks for the interview, Rusty. Well, you're quite welcome. This is Cool Cat Carolina, my old home base. Got a lot of comments on those, on that video. Miss this place, but knowing you, you'll find the perfect spot soon. Actually, I'm not really looking. I think for right now, this is the perfect spot for me. It may change a, a year from now. I may do something else. Or uh, today. I mean, I'm not going to say, you know, a year, but maybe this afternoon. Anyway, driver Dan. Well, that was fun seeing Thorny, seeing the Longhorn cattle right there. Beautiful. Yeah, it was pretty nice sit there on the patio and watch nature go by for sure. Yeah, thank you, Driver Dan. Same person, thumbs up to you. CDL Lady 54 says, we know it's a great space. You did, you, and that sums it up. Hold on to what you have because tomorrow will not be the same. Are you morning now no i'm not i'm actually not no i'm i'm happy right here guys i mean I'm, i've learned over the years to just be happy wherever the hell i am because i've been a lot of places and been through a lot of things and if you don't land on your feet put a smile on your face get back in the human race you just miss some time anyway john b oh yeah back to the green green grass of home <laughs> yeah that's right that's where i was anyway newer attitude tv my old home base i sure do I sure do, it says I sure do looks good. All right, uh, Prairie Night Moon. I miss this place. It was nice to visit again. Yeah, it's a, it was a good place. I enjoy. Of course, I enjoyed. It. I was there a long time, sixteen years. Johnny Petraglia. I can't wait till you get your Class C. Well, I'm hoping that within four weeks I have it. You know, because we're the nineteenth of October now. I ordered it on September the ninth, so that's been uh, a while. Uh, Franny Lee, thirty eight. Full circle. Say hello to the donkey. Thorny is is a, is a growing. Oh my gosh, I missed you. Purchase of a new home. Wow, I'll check in more often. LOL. Yeah, you got to do that. You got to binge watch. All you guys that uh, can binge watch, that helps. You know, just turn the videos on and let them play. A lot of video uh, creators tell their audience to do that. Why? Because it helps. Little T08, this is the best spot you ever owned on your YouTube channel. Uh, it is. It was a good spot. There's no doubt. Now, as far as the best, best is yet to come, my friend. Shelly on the old home base. Ah, oh, Beer 30 was nice there, but wherever you go, there you are. 
I'm sure it will be nice wherever you are. You you make it happen. Have a good evening, Rusty. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. And uh, Jane's John. That was a nice, secluded place. When people have asked you if you miss the old place, you always answer no. Well, it's true. I don't really miss it at all because wherever I am, I am. And it says, why are you circling the wagon back over there to rent it? Well, but the reason I was doing that was is uh, I had talked with her before about it, and, and it was such a good deal. I thought, well, hell, that's not a bad spot. And, uh, and then it recurred to me, I can't get my Class C in there. It says, I know you do you. Okay, let me get back to this James John here. Just a minute, Matilda. Don't get excited. That was a nice secluded place. When people have asked you if you missed the old place, you always answer no. That's true. Why are you circling the wagon back over there to rent it? Because I want to. I know you're, you do you crap, but this makes no damn sense. Ha ha ha, legit question. Uh, you know, James, it's a legit question, but, uh, I think I'm going to just let Matilda have a little snack. It's okay. I mean, it's not bad, but Matilda's hungry, and that's bad enough for her to eat. Margaret Harris, thanks for this amazing video. You're very welcome. That's on the Texas Longhorns. Jim Christensen, my old home base, the next three. What do you need that cover for? Just back, to, back up to it and stay a month. Texas is getting cool just like you. Well, the reason I don't do that is, is because if I leave here, this RV park stays full, and it's a good deal and a good location, and I like it. So if I went over there and stayed for one month, two months, or three months and decided to come back here, that is not going to happen, because some of these people move in here and live for years, okay? No, I just happen to get in here, and I'm staying uh, for a while, anyway. Scotty Thompson, cool video talk, Rusty. Thank you. Outcast one. Wow, Thorny got big. No kidding. It's, it's got so big that the one of the arms is just falling down on the ground. I always liked that place and enjoyed watching all the little projects you undertook improving it. But now it is time to move on to other projects. I agree. Some sometimes change is good. I know it's good for me. It's kept me alive, man. Because, you know, for me, change always regenerates me. And uh, that's why I travel like I do. That's why I've, you know, I've changed uh, RVs many times, and I will continue to do that. Don't think that class, this Class C coming up is the end-all, end-all. Uh, it ain't. Out, uh, I've already read that. Uh, David Yeoman, I saw that steer. I, if I saw that steer, my barbecue and freezer would be busy for two or three days at least. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Sure it would. Yeah, you, you kill one of those cattle on that ranch, and I promise you, you would not know what happened to you. I promise you, you might go swimming with the fishes. Anyway, Scotty Thompson, I'm going to do some open bowling practice bowling Monday with my dad. Good for you. Both semi-pro bowler, the mass semi-professional like me, LOM, and dad are both professional semi well, anyway, whatever, Scotty, uh, what I got to say is good luck to you and you and your dad. Enjoy your bowling as much as you can, okay, because it's a fun sport, and I know you enjoy it. Scotty Thompson says, cool comment, call Rusty. My Google Home or device is restarting by itself, so that means Google's doing some upgrades again. Uh, anyway, Margaret Mondrovsky. Rusty, this was my favorite place that you have owned. Just saying, couldn't you raise it up a bit? Of course, it's up. I don't own that place anymore. So, I, you know, that's up to the owner, not me. It doesn't need to be raised up for her class B, you know. But uh, for my class C, it would help to be about another 18 inches higher. Uh, yeah, but I'm not there anymore. It's gone. That's history. My Venus healer, that old home base was not even mine, but I miss it. <laughs> Tom Fowler, good to see the old place, Rusty. They must have plans for it at a later time. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they do. I don't know. Well, the update's done. Little Kittle missed that home base. Thanks for taking us along for the view. The Longhorn Steer is amazing. Yeah, they are, man. That the, you know, and if you think about driving a herd of those from the Texas border uh, near, say, Brownsville or wherever. Through, up through Llano and all the way up to Abilene, Kansas, 
uh, man, you know, that you know, 3,000 of those things, day in and day out for, I don't know, I think it took him about 90 days. Uh, the therapist, hello, Rusty, from Lakeland, Florida. Hello, therapist. I probably need one. Jen S., so depressing to see people in Texas wearing slave muzzles. Well, see, that's in Georgetown. You know, in Georgetown, Texas, they're wearing them. But did you see any at the uh, Longhorn uh, Cattle Show? No, none. Not a one. Nobody there was wearing a mask. Nobody in Lano. Nobody around here wears masks. This is not the mask slave over here. No. They, you get out in the rural areas anywhere. I, I don't know about, well, in New Mexico and Capitan, it was about 50-50. And, but in the larger cities, uh, they're trained. They're well trained. Okay. Uh, Gen S, I'm, it's so refreshing to see that people in Texas haven't fallen for the scam and are not wearing muzzles. I am moving to Texas. See, uh, that's the same person, Gen S. Uh, uh, this is C what Cygris World. Uh, thanks so much for, for uh, thank you so much. You really helped us out. That's on the Coachman Clipper Cadet, lighting how to light the hot water heater. Okay. Uh, Rich Tank, that's a catch name. Uh, beer 30, buying a Class C RV. Hey, bud, I'm bouncing off the walls for you. You're going to enjoy that Class C lifestyle to no end, and there's plenty of beer storage waiting. So looking forward to seeing that in future videos. Yeah, you, don't worry. When we get to Class C, I mean, it's not a me getting to Class C. It's a we getting to Class C. You guys will be, you'll know more about Class Cs than you ever wanted to know. I mean, and then some, because I'm learning there's a lot more to it. You know, the the electrical system with that, generator is a little bit different. Uh, Gene Rodriguez, hi Rusty, it was so nice to go back and visit your home base. Uh, those Longhorns must have sensed you were going to drop by and enjoy the video. Well, I doubt that, but I mean, it was a good coincidence. Ellen, Me Ellen MC, Ellen, Eileen, oh, Ellen MC, those Longhorns are beautiful. Yeah, they are. It's, uh, they're beautiful cattle. The reason he's got them on that ranch, he gets an agriculture exemption and his taxes are practically zero. You know, that goes way back. The old ranchers, when they uh, started taxing land in Texas, uh, the old ranchers said, we're not going to have that because we got 200,000 acres. You're not going to tax us like you tax everybody else. So the, the people with the gold, you ever heard of the golden rule? The people with the gold make the rules. Well, that's how it worked. They made the rules to suit themselves, and it's still here today. Dan Frenzel, good choice to sell. Two private back there and prime picking for looters and vandals. I, I never was bothered. I had one occasion where uh, somebody bothered some stuff when I was traveling. T.G. McFly, I missed the old place. It was a good It was good times. Yeah, it was. Shift into high. Thorny. <laughs> Thumbs up to Thorny. Rich Tank, uh, that today's generation, it's all about me. That was on the generator. I was at... at uh, uh, Manzano Mountains, I think it was called. I'm, I'm, it was in northern uh, New, or, or central New Mexico, and there was a guy running a generator he bought at Walmart. Man, it was a good old, good old loud one. I promise you that. But he didn't run it all night. He didn't. He ran it till about ten o'clock, I guess. Tommy Devers, that most definitely gave me the warm. That most definitely gave me warm fuzzies. We all share lots of memories with you there. Would love to see you get to go back, but on to the next adventure. You know, there, there was a guy named Thomas Wolf that wrote a book called You Can Never Go Home Again. And it's about this guy that was away from home for an extended period of time, many years, and then went back home. And what he found was those what he thought were just like Grand Canyon uh, uh, canyons uh, were creek beds that were about four feet deep. Okay, so, you know, it was, it was all a function of his youth and the way he saw things. But, yeah, read that book. That's a good one. Jamie Macon, my old home base. I miss your old place, but I understand your desire to move on to other things. That was a generous offer of the new owner to rent it back to you. Yeah, it really is. I thought it was great, but unfortunately it won't work for your new Class C. I like your new spot in Lano, though, and hopefully things will move uh, be more travel friendly again in the future since I know you enjoy being on the road. Nice to see Thorny again. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be taking hopefully some short trips and mid trips. Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I may hit on the get on the road and enjoy myself in the Class C and just continue traveling. Could I do that? Sure. In a heartbeat.
algorithm. Ha ha, maybe if you let the air out of your tires, would it fit? Oh, well, yeah, I don't want to fool with that. <laughs> no, but that, yeah, I thought about that. You could do that probably. But it would just fit. That's all. I mean, it, it's, it's uh, no. Anyway, Nakalina 007. Very enjoyable video. Nice spot for sure. Thank you very much. Evelyn Lowry. Rusty, see if the new owner would trade your new lots for this one back. You mean trade lots? Uh, no, I don't think so. And the reason is, see, the lots I have here in Lano, uh, even though they're, they're of equal value, uh, you can't park an RV on these lots in Lano. Mm -mm, you can't do that. Even temporary. Well, you can if you're building a home for two months. And uh, that's it. And uh, she wants a place where she can park her Class B, and you can't you can't do it. She can't do it. So it wouldn't be a trade. R U E Rue and Rue and Ada new uploads. That's the name. Comment call. Hi. Olive oil needs olive oil resets to skin original, referring to brown spots. Oh well, that's a old age spots. Show about these up here. Yeah, you know, I could go to the dermatologist and have her burn them off, but I don't care. It's part of getting older. Uh, Benson Speed Shop, thumbs up to you. Chad Linton, Layton has been waiting forever for you to post this video. <laughs> that was that boy. That was that boy. That, the, the, the picture of the lady was her son. Yeah, I think. yeah, Layton has been waiting forever for you to post this video. Well, it's posted now. I hope he enjoyed it and got to see himself on YouTube. Great. That's great. Uh, thank you. He's a great kid. Rob Flow 7 if this is on two years in the casita, it probably would have been a good idea to remove the phone number. Well, whatever, you know, you guys worry about that. I've never had a problem with that, and I hope I never do, because I do make mistakes like that. <laughs> yeah, I show everything. Anyway, Lano River dredging, Pitmaster Cook. Hey, Rusty, we must have missed why they are dredging. We're from New York, and usually, usually that would mean a bad thing. Uh, no, actually, the reason they dredge it is this is a, a lake by the uh, city park, and it, it soots, or uh, what do you call it, uh, silts up, and uh, so they get in and clean out the sand to make it deeper, because it's all, it also can be their water supply. So that's one another reason. Anyway, we're better, we'll do two or three more here and then end it. Tracy Phillips, my old home base. Thorny is doing great. Glad, glad, great place you fixed up, Rusty. I watched a ton of videos you put out from that home base. Clear back to when you still had the press. Yeah, that was, t isn't it amazing, man? You know, I can remember when I was waiting for the uh, uh, casita, and now I've been in over two years. Now I'm waiting on a Class C. Time, if, you, if there's anything you want to do, you better be doing it. Anyway, thank you, Tracy. Mary Gray, what has Rusty done with the other land he had that he was going to put a cabin on? Has he sold them? I got them for sale. I do have them for sale. I do. They're on uh, uh, Zillow, uh, 708 East Tarrant Street, Lano, Texas. Tarrant is T-A-R-R-A-N-T. And basically, if anybody wants to buy them, just make me an offer. I'll work with you. Mary Gray. Oh, what have I done? I put them up for sale. This is the last one. Walter Pendleton brings back memories. You moved ahead. Well, I moved and it just moved. That's all. But having said that, guys, from Central Texas. Oh, hey, Google, make us laugh. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, here's a joke in here. Here's one. Uh, a fellow had a pet buzzard named Buford, and it decided to take him to Hawaii on vacation. He realized it was a long flight and that he couldn't afford the exorbitant fees charged by airlines for extra baggage, so he bought Buford a ticket, but the airline denied boarding to Buford. It seems Buford had too much carry-on luggage. Carry-on, you know, carry-on, you got me? You'll have to, fit, you have to look, up, look up the word C-A-R-R-I-O-N. It has a lot to do with buzzard. And uh, But anyway, guys, moving right along. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because Amazon takes care of old Rusty and uh, you get uh, nothing, it doesn't charge you anything. But yeah, you just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want during that shopping session, and Amazon takes care of me. 
And also today at noon, I'll do a driving video or post a driving video. And then what else? Uh, drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day. Won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. Also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. And you won't want to eat so much as in snack. And that's usually what does it. Yeah. And the only way to really lose weight, guys, is eat less. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Uh, what else? Then stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day. Why? Because it's good for you. And it, you know, you, you'll feel better immediately. And then what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. Those little neuron, neurons in there are forming neural links, which are basically you, your thoughts, your consciousness, your dreams, your memories, everything. So put in good ingredients. Use your titanium cranium to keep out negativities. Negativity. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. You know what I mean. Especially now it's gone insane. Totally crazy, man. You know, it's, it's really weird. But having said that, then what else? Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Live your life one moment or one day at a time, best you can. And uh, yeah, with that in mind, adios, hasta luego, bye-bye, aloha, until next time, which will be around noon. And on and on we go. Boom, 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 boom. Enjoy your life, guys. At ease. Bye-bye.